Hello and welcome. You're watching NDTV. I'm Vedant Agarwal. Our lead story. Well, the Chandigarh Mayor uh, Manoj Sonkar has resigned ahead of a crucial hearing in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court hearing on Monday will be focusing on the rigging charges as far as the Chandigarh Mayor polls are concerned. Remember, the Amadi Party Congress Alliance had alleged that the BJP had indulged in rigging as far as the mayor polls were concerned. In fact, uh, the Supreme Court had come down heavily on the poll returning officer saying that this is like a murder of democracy. democracy and there should that there should be a probe uh, into the allegations as well and the returning officer has much to answer in fact the supreme court will be hearing the returning uh, officer side of the story in the hearing on monday mohammed ghazali is now joining us live on the broadcast so uh, ghazali uh, the key supreme court hearing to uh, on monday and what we are also hearing is that perhaps some councillors could switch over to the bjp as well Yeah, what we are getting a confirmation right now is that three MCs have joined BJP. Three municipal councillors from Aam Aadmi Party have also switched over to the BJP, and BJP's mayor has resigned. He has resigned on moral grounds, says the BJP Chandigarh president. Perhaps in the uh, uh, the national executive meeting which is happening in 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 Delhi, the BJP top leadership suggested that the mayor should resign. The AAP councillors now join BJP, giving them an edge as far as the numbers are concerned, because with 14 councillors and one vote of the sitting mp kiran kher they only had 15 votes for for having your uh, mayor in the polls you need to have 19 votes so with now three mcs joining bjp they have 18 and one akali dal mc had previously voted for bjp in the last held elections for the mayoral post so it is very likely that now with bjp firm in position with the support of three aap mcs who have now switched over to bjp they have numbers with them and now once they once the mayor has resigned so it it uh, bjp will go for a re-election and that will also make the petition which is pending in the supreme court for which you have a hearing tomorrow maybe that petition will be null and rectify uh, null and uh, void because that petition actually asked for a re-election a fair election so with the resignation nation of mayor with three aap mc switching over to bjp the bjp has the numbers and bjp's mayor after his resignation also makes a perfect situation for re-election absolutely ghazali and uh, perhaps this was a demand of the amani party congress uh, you know to, uh, to to have a re-election but the numbers now seem to be changing and with the defection perhaps an edge to the bjp but nevertheless the supreme court will be hearing the matter on monday and this is crucial because the supreme court had said that this raises serious questions about the role of the returning officer as far as the mayor polls are concerned when moving now to the other big headline well the government and farmers are meeting amid the log jam over msp the fourth round of talks between the protesting farmers and the government chief minister bhagwant man and a delegation of the union ministers also at that crucial meet this is of course uh, extremely critical because uh, the farmers have been protesting for over 6 days they are firm on their demand for an msp they have come in with several other demands as well uh, like increasing uh, the number of days days under the narega scheme to 200 and also so uh, you know the government action against over privatization and corporatization of agriculture and electricity so several demands and uh, based on the outcome of the meeting the farmers will decide their further plan of action and another news well after much suspense uh, kamal nath will not be joining the bjp this is what the congress has said congress general secretary jitendra singh has said that kamal nath spoke to the leadership and denied all reports of a possible cross over this is kamal nath and his son nakul nath are in the national capital and well there were earlier reports of kamal nath being in touch with the bjp leadership but the congress leadership now denying those reports Well, I did speak to him yesterday, and he may said it was a matter of consideration. He wasn't happy with the things, the uh, way things were playing out in the Congress Party. But uh, I think, uh, after weighing all the options, he's decided to continue uh, his uh, 50-year-long association with the Congress Party. And it's in that uh, context he will continue to be with the Congress. He's conveyed that uh, to Jitendra Singh, who's the General Secretary in charge. And of course, as uh, you heard, the PCC Chief and others saying that Kamal Nath is a Congressman. He's been given. everything possible for in the last 50 years he started off with sanjay gandhi it's been a long association uh, with the congress party and at this last stage at 77 uh, to think of him shifting to the bjp for what uh, is something that everybody was asking so finally uh, that has been answered with mr kamalnath uh, continuing to stay with the congress party 
Meanwhile, the BJP in a huddle at the two-day National Council meet of the BJP, the Prime Minister addressed a party cadre, saying that there is a 100-day target that each Karikarta must follow. He also hit out to the Congress, saying that the grand old party is a mother of corruption, instability and the politics of dynasty. Listen in. Bhajpa ka Karikarta saal ke har din 2400 घंटे देश की सेवा के लिए कुछ न कुछ करता ही रहता है लेकिन अब अगले 100 दिन नई ऊर्जा नया उमंग नया उत्साह नया विश्वास नए जोश के साथ काम करने का है मेरी एक व्यक्तिगत प्रार्थना है करोगे जरा हाथ भर करके बताइए करोगे हर लाभार्थी के पास जाइए उनको कहना कि प्रधान सेवक नरेंद्र मोदी ने उन्हें प्रणाम कहा है कांग्रेस के पास विकास का एजेंडा रही है फ्यूचर का रोड मैप नहीं है ये देश को कभी भाषा के आधार पर तो कभी क्षेत्र के आधार पर बांटने में जुटे हुए हैं साथियों कांग्रेस का एक सबसे बड़ा पाप ये रहा है वो देश की सेनाओं का मनोबल तोड़ने से भी पीछे नहीं रहे भारत की राष्ट्रीय सुरक्षा और सामरिक शक्ति को नुकसान पहुंचाने में कांग्रेस ने कोई कसर नहीं छोड़ी है मीनवाल द पोलिटिकल स्टैंड ऑफ बिटवीन द टीएमसी एंड द बीजेपी ओवर द संदेश खाली इंसिडेंट कंटिन्यूज and the west bengal governor cv anand the boss spoke exclusively to nd tv saying that the issue must not be politicized take a look i want to start by asking you uh, we saw those visuals sir when your uh, during your visit you were uh, speaking to the women in sandesh kali many of them were tying rakhis to you as well at that moment uh, did you receive any complaints about sexual assault women in numbers met me and poured out their grievances they said they were molested harassment was there intimidation was there the husbands were beaten up they were asked to report at the party offices or the farm houses uh dr bose you know what did was there any action initiated by raj bhavan uh, you know any inquiry or registration of fir uh, suo moto on your own as a constitutional head in west bengal because the government says that uh, it took some time before even uh, you know a formal fir was launched nobody was coming forward with any complaint i was given oral and written complaints by dozens of women these complaints i am sending to the government for their information and necessary action mr governor uh, in this uh, you know high decimal war of words between now, which has now erupted between the bjp and the tmc do you fear that uh, in fact many activists also fear this thing that real victims of sexual violence if there are any real victims of sexual violence they will just become collateral damage in politics this is a time where the owner of the women is involved we have to protect their honor politics is different politics may take its own turn later now as governor my commitment to my sisters is that i will do whatever is to be done to protect their honor and now those who feel insecure there even now they are in touch with me i welcome to the women of sandesh kali to come to rajpoint and be my guest we will certainly provide them everything in good security i will be there to guard them in whichever way it is required i would just like to ask you if the women of sandesh kali are uh, watching you at this moment they are looking at you how will you ensure that the justice is delivered to the victims of uh, who have made these serious allegations 
they trust me they have faith in me i have faith in the rule of law certainly certainly we will be able to protect the honor of our women who are harassed in sandesh valley they are most welcome in rajbhavan i will do my best in my capacity as governor and now of course as a rakh brother anything that is required to protect their honor well this is mamta banerji has said that the bjp made the incident happen and said that it was the bjp which scripted the entire sandesh kali incident with the enforcement director listen to what he had to say bilkis mara gechilo kota team giyechilen dolit der upor ottachar hocche kota team giyechilen toposhili der upor ottachar hole kota team ga jan ar banglay जट पकान चेष्टा करें जट खोलार चेष्टा करी को मानुषर पर अत्याचार हम मन रखबें सरकार व्यवस्था ने एक घटना घटे घटना तो घटना हो प्रथम इडी के पाठिए बंधु बीजेपी ढुके से इडी के साथ कि मीडिया ढुके से ढुके तिल के तल कर शांति परिवर्ते आगुन लगा चाहिए त जार जा अभिजोग आफिसार पाठब ता सुनबे एवं जदि क्यों मन करें कारो का क्यों कि सबटाई फेरत देवा माथा रखबें जख बोली तक से करी कारण को महिला आज पर्त को कमप्लेन करी एफआईआर करी पुलिस के बोले शुओ मोटो केस करो हमारे ब्लक प्रेसिडेंट अरेस्ट हो ग स्पेशलिंग्रीड And now our special report. Well-renowned uh, Jain seer Acharya Vidya Sagar Maharaj breathed his last on Sunday at the Chandragiri Tirth in Chhattisgarh, Rajnandgaon district, after undertaking salikna. Prime Minister Modi got emotional while paying his tributes to the Jain monk. <laughs> Renowned Jain seer Acharya Vidya Sagar Maharaj passed away at Chandragiri Tirth in Chhattisgarh on Sunday after undertaking salikna. Salikna is a Jain religious practice involving voluntary fasting unto death for spiritual purification. According to an official statement by the Tirth, Acharya Vidya Sagar Maharaj attained samadhi through salikna at Chandragiri Tirth at 2:35 a.m. Prime Minister Modi paid an emotional tribute to the seer as he remembered his long association with him. Aaj main samasta deshvasiyon ki taraf se sant shiromani Acharya Sri 108 Pujya Vidyasagar ji Maharaj ko shraddhanjali deta hu aur mere liye to yah ek vyaktigat kshati jaisa hai. Kuch hi mahine pehle भाव सुबह सुबह मैं उनके पास पहुंच गया था तब पता नहीं था उनके दर्शन नहीं कर पाऊंगा आचार्य विद्यासागर महाराज वॉज मोस्ट अनाउंस सेंट इन द दिगंबर जैन कम्युनिटी ही वॉज वाइडली रिकॉग्नाइज फॉर हिज आउटस्टैंडिंग स्कॉलरली पर सूट एंड प्रोफाउंड स्पिरिचुअल विजडम ही ऑल्सो लेट कैंपेन टू प्रमोट हिंदी एंड मेक द जस्टिस डिलीवरी सिस्टम इन एनी स्टेट इन इट्स ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेज The last rites of Vidyasagar Maharaj were performed at the Chandragiri Tirth on Sunday afternoon. <laughs> 